Hi everyone, in this video we're going to show you our method for changing a tyre and inner tube on the front wheel of a Dualtron Mini. We think it's quite a technical repair and we cannot do it without using good tyre levers. But of course, if you use another method or if you have any tips to share, feel free to leave a comment to help the community. OK, so let's begin by removing the two rubber covers on the left and right of the scooter. Next, take out the drum brake cable. To do this, simply unscrew the little nut attached to the end of the metal rod. Take the cable out and remove the spring. And retrieve the cotter pin. Then remove the front wheel by unscrewing the nut with an 18mm Allen key. And take off the lock washer. And do exactly the same on the other side of the Dualtron Mini. Next, using a mallet, I softly tap on the left and right of the axle to bring the wheel out downwards. And there, retrieve the two washers and the two struts. Pull on the wheel axle and take off the detachable part of the brake. Next, take off the valve cap. Check that there isn't any air left in the tyre. And press on the edges of the tyre to loosen it from the rim. Now take out the first side wall of the tyre and take it out of the side where the valve hole is closest to the edge. Then take a little liquid soap and the famous Hercules tyre levers. Put a little liquid soap around the front wheel between the tyre and the rim. Then I insert the first tyre lever and lever it. Then I insert the second tyre lever right next to the first and I do the same thing. And I'm going to go around the tyre like that until the first side wall is completely out the rim. and pull out the punctured inner tube. So I started by inserting an Allen key into the inner tube valve on the inside of the front wheel. Next, 
Next, I'm going to push the valve to the outside of the rim. And there. You just have to pull on the inner tube to take it out of the tire. Although it doesn't look like it, this step can hurt your fingers because there isn't much space between the tire and the rim. Now we'll take out the other part of the tyre. Here I lubricate the edge of the tyre and the rim with a drop of liquid soap. And I'm going to use tyre levers again to take it all out of the rim. And in this sequence the tyre wasn't very well positioned from the start, so I had a little more trouble getting it out. I'll leave you to watch it in the actual speed. Now we'll move on to installing the new tyre and the new inner tube. And if you want to buy some, 
You'll find the useful links in the video description. So the first thing to do is to check the direction of rotation of the tyre before mounting it on the rim. You can see that the valve is offset to the right side of the rim and it's this part that you're going to slot in the tyre. So I put a little soap around the tyre and the wheel. Insert the rim in the tyre and go around it with the tyre levers whilst pushing the rim downwards. Now we can install the inner tube on the front wheel with the valve pointing to the side where there is no brake. I press on the side of the tyre and put the valve into place. and fully deflate the inner tube. Next, I place the inner tube inside the rim. And no part of the inner tube should stick out, otherwise you risk puncturing the inner tube when putting the tyre back on. Now you are ready to place the second part of the tyre in the rim. And to make it easier, I'll use some cable ties. It might seem odd, but really it works very well. So I put the first cable tyre around the wheel without tightening it. Then I position the two sides of a tyre in the rim. And it's only now that I tighten it all to hold the tyre in place. Now I'm going to put a drop of soap around the tyre so that it doesn't stick. And I'll continue to install the tyre little by little on the wheel with help from the tyre levers and cable ties until I reach the top. And the trick is to really move centimetre by centimetre without pushing a whole chunk in at once. Now I'll let you watch it in peace because a video is worth a thousand words.
Now that your tyre is on the front wheel, you can take off the cable tyres. You can either cut them, or the technique to open them without cutting them is simple. You just push the locking tab down with a sharp object whilst pulling the cable tie through. Now inflate the tyre, and the recommended max pressure is 3.5 bars, 50 psi. Put the drum back on the front wheel, Put the axle through the wheel. Position the two struts and install the two spring washers in the same direction. Now put the front wheel on your Jultron Mini with the two washers pointing downwards. And the rod that holds the brake in place must be placed in the notch of the drum. Put the two external spring washers back on and tighten the front wheel by putting the two nuts back. To fix the brake, put the cotter pin on the drum lever.
then slide the spring on the cable and put the cable through the pin. And put the nut back on the end of the brake cable. Adjusting the brake is as easy as 1, 2, 3. You just have to spin the wheel and listen out for the brake shoes touching the drum. If they don't touch, continue to tighten the nut until you hear a scratching noise. Then slightly loosen the nut until the noise is gone. And finish by putting the nut covers back in place.